first went vegan over 17 years ago, it was really important to me to make everything homemade. And while I still make a lot homemade, one of the things that slipped, especially after having kids, was making my own plant milk. I started buying cartons and box plant milks, and really there's no shame in that. However, my kids drink a lot of plant milk, and lately I've been a little bit concerned with the long list of ingredients at the back there. I really urge you to look at the plant milks that you do drink and see what kind of ingredients are in there because a lot of these things are not so great for our health. Typically you'll see a really long list of ingredients, things that you may not know what they are, things you can't pronounce. These are typically thickeners, emulsifiers, and things that are going to extend shelf life, which honestly we shouldn't be drinking. First you'll see things like gums. This could be guar gum, gelin gum, xanthan gum, or locust bean gum. These help prevent separation, they make it thicker, and they extend the shelf life. Unfortunately, a lot of these gums have actually been shown to exacerbate uh, gastrointestinal issues like gas, bloating, diarrhea, inflammation in the gut. All of these can be caused by these different gums. Carrageenan is another one that's in most plant milks that you find in the store. And you would think if you look it up online, it's derived from red seaweed, so it would be safe. However, it's been linked in a lot of studies to more gastrointestinal distress. This ingredient can cause inflammation and even cancer. And in one study, it was shown in rats to actually increase tumor growth, which is very scary and not something I want to be feeding to my kids personally. Another thing that you'll find in plant milks, particularly oat milk from what I've seen, are added oils like rapeseed oil or sunflower oil or even palm oil, which is not environmentally sustainable. And if you're aiming to eat whole food plant-based and eat oil-free, then you don't want to have it you know, slipping into your milk by accident and consuming oil from your milk. Another one is phosphates. So this can include things like decalcium phosphate, disodium phosphate, monosodium phosphate, and phosphoric acid, just to name a few. Phosphates are another thing that's in a lot of food additives, in a lot of our food that we consume, and this can actually lead to kidney damage and organ calcification, which we don't want to be having when we're drinking a cup of plant milk. Next up are natural flavors, which provide flavoring to the food, but you have to be very aware because manufacturers don't have to disclose what kind of natural flavors are in there. So if you see natural flavors on the back, that can include up to 100 different ingredients to make the food taste good, but you don't know what you're getting in there. Calcium carbonate is another one that I find in the plant milk that we drink from a carton most often, and this actually lowers your stomach acid, which is not good. You want to have a good, strong stomach acid because this is how you digest your food well. And also strong stomach acid allows your body to absorb nutrients better. If the stomach acid is off, then you're not going to be absorbing as much food and it may lead to gastrointestinal issues as well. And the last thing is synthetic vitamins, which you don't really need if you're getting a wide variety of plant foods in your diet. Most of the time you're not even getting those vitamins anyways, because they settle at the bottom. You have to shake the thing super duper hard to even get those synthetic vitamins, which you don't actually need if you're eating well enough. So I think it's safe to say for myself and for you watching that this is not nutritionally worth it. A lot of the times these milks are hyper processed when they are you know, meant to be healthy and they are really expensive. There's countless things you can do with your own homemade milk and just like anything else on this path, it takes a little bit of education to know your why and then a tiny bit of effort to put it forth. Even though I share in all three of my cookbooks different plant milks that you can make that are super delicious, recently a company reached out to me and sent me their product which is called Milky Plant and I'm gonna try it for you live for the first time so we can see together if it would be worth it. Um, they say it's ready in minutes, which would make things much easier. So I'm excited to try this out and test it out with you guys here. Let's see what we think. So this is what the Milky Plant machine looks like. You can keep it up on your counter or store it in a cabinet. It has a glass bottle, which I love. The water container's on the back and you just fill that up with filtered water and you pour in your ingredients. Whatever kind of plant milk you want to make, you can make it at home in less than three minutes, which means it's gonna be really fresh. It's gonna be free of artificial preservatives and ingredients like what I talked about before. So I'm gonna show you how I'm making almond milk. They have a specific cup that you just fill up and you put the amount of whatever kind of plant milk you're putting in there. I also put in a little bit of vanilla extract and maple syrup. And all you gotta do is close the lid and then you press the on button. And then you press this button in the center to make the milk. 
and it does all the work for you. Whatever kind of plant ingredient you put in there, it takes three minutes only. Surprisingly, it's very rich and creamy. Honestly, for me, this is a big winner because it takes a lot of the work out of making nut milk. There's no more nut milk bag squeezing. There's no preservatives. There's no artificial ingredients. It's better for the planet. There's no plastic, no cartons, no waste. Let's see what it tastes like. Good, very good. Wow, that only took three minutes. I'm impressed. Mm, perfect. Once you're done making milk, then you just take this part off and inside here is just a filtering sieve. To me, you're my friend. You can use this pulp further for things like baking or making granola, which is fantastic. You clean the sieve out with water, you add this little brush that's included, and it has a full-on self-cleaning function that also lasts a couple of minutes, and you don't have to do anything. You just stick the empty bottle underneath, do the clean function, and it cleans the whole machine for you, which is amazing. Let's move on to making some hemp milk. I'm using the exact same quantities for pretty much everything. You can experiment and decide how you like it personally. And here's the hemp milk. Okay, this is like one of those things, you, it's like a brand new machinery. You're like, oh, this is so interesting. Mm, that's good. Hemp milk is so nutty and fresh. It's actually almost even better, dare I say, than the traditional way that I make it. I love that this comes together so quickly. Three minutes is very quick. I don't typically like homemade oat milk because sometimes it's really slimy. So this will be something that I definitely want to see how it is. It's actually not slimy at all. It's actually pretty good. And I'm not a homemade oat milk kind of person. All right, I've made three milks so far and I wanna just taste them and let you know my honest opinion on which one I like the best. So I've got hemp milk, oat milk, and almond milk here. Let's taste the hemp first. Mm, I like that one. It's sweet, it's nutty. Oat milk, pretty darn good. Creamier than I expected and not slimy. And traditional almond. Actually, this is tasting really creamy now that I've let it sit there for a little bit. Gosh, I don't know. I was thinking oat milk was my favorite one, but this has a nice creamy nutty texture and this also has a spicy nutty texture. Taste, not texture. Mm, they're all very good. I don't know, which one do you think you like best? I like oat milk. You like the oat milk? Which I don't normally like. Yeah, I don't like it normally either. I do like oat one. The fact that I don't have to worry about the preservatives, additives, sugars, oils in my plant milk from store-bought plant milk, it's just fresh, that is so amazing. It's not messy, there's no fuss with straining, and honestly, I'm saving a lot of money. It's basically zero waste because the pulp can be used further in other dishes. You don't have any cartons or Tetra Pak waste, and the water after using the self-cleaning function can be used to water the plants. So that was really fun and I'm glad we tried it out for the first time together. Milky Plant was kind enough to give me a discount for you guys to try it out on your own. You can check that out in the description below. As always, thanks so much for watching with all the health and with all the wellness. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.